How many smaller things equal a big problem at the New York State Department of Transportation? How many examples do you need so you will take action? Three, five, more? The following are very brief and details can be found elsewhere. All right, here we go. Limited sight lines make it inherently unsafe for autos to pass on the shoulder, especially for pedestrians and bicyclists. The New York State DOT built these illegal passing lanes on the shoulder and will not correct them. For years, drivers used the right shoulder as a right turn lane. It took citizen notification to initiate a traffic study followed by a right turn lane construction project. The New York State DOT has yet to complete the project with white cross hatched road marking lines on the shoulder before the turn lane starts. In order to get to the 390 on ramp, drivers often cross lanes illegally during and after this left turn. The New York State DOT has known about this issue and has yet to improve it. Drivers going 55 and drivers going 40 are merging, interacting, and crossing each other. Despite this unsafe speed differential, the New York State DOT has not installed speed limit 40 signs. The recommended speed for this highway exit turn is 25 miles per hour. Since the transition lane is almost non-existent, drivers are slowing down in the right through lane, creating a potentially hazardous speed differential between 55 miles per hour and 25 miles per hour. Drivers often use the right turn only lane to go straight around those turning left. The New York State DOT has known about this issue for several years, but will not address the issue. There are right turn only markings on the pavement, but there are no signs. Does this mean right turn only unless it snows, or did they forget to finish the intersection? Right turn only lane notification. Only one sign is too few. Seven is too many. The New York State DOT installed a one-way only sign directly in front of crosswalk light. The New York State DOT did not notice the problem. After being notified, they fixed the sign in a couple of days, but they had to do a study first. The New York State DOT was notified that one caution light was burned out on State Route 490 downtown. Now three of four lights are burned out. Stop lines at angled intersections need to be set back so large vehicles can safely negotiate the left turn. Sometimes the New York State DOT paints these correctly. Sometimes they don't sometimes at the same intersection. Without proper markings, drivers often use the bi-directional turn lane to pass on the left to get to the left turn lane, even passing those wanting to turn left. The New York State DOT does not consider this a significant safety issue. Is this area on the right a through lane, a turn lane, or a shoulder? Road markings must provide clarity, not confusion. Recessed or damaged storm grates can pose a risk to bicyclists. Examples like this can be found in many locations on state roads including State Bike Route 5. How often has the New York State Department of Transportation taken action after a fatality or fatalities? Do people have to die before the New York State DOT recognizes unsafe road conditions? In the summer of 2009, the New York State DOT was conducting repairs on the Crown Point Bridge over Lake Champlain. In September, they were planning to announce resuming two-way traffic after a temporary one-lane reduction. On October 16, 2009, the bridge was closed. On December 28, 2009, instead of the bridge being reopened, it was explosively demolished. Wouldn't it be great if you could build a safe, signal-controlled intersection at your place of work? The New York State DOT did exactly that at their Rochester Region Jefferson Road headquarters. Don't forget the green arrow overlap that has taken 12 years to correct, and the ongoing extended green programming that is at an unknown number of intersections. That's 20 safety issues, small to big, identified on New York State roads. As I only frequent a small portion of the roads in the Rochester region, there are probably more issues. It will take people like you to recognize, report, and push for solutions to safety issues such as these. Thank you.